Hey guys, what is up? Brennan here, aka Bremo, bringing you guys back another video for the Cobra. Right now it's on jack stand, so don't think it's that much of a monster. Um, but we'll be doing two installs today, but you guys will be seeing the first one in this video, and the second one in the next video. So today, in today's video, we'll be doing a catless or off-road X-Pipe. So as you guys know, I said I wanted to wait till I got headers to do this. But I figured since they're not that expensive, I might as well just do it now. And when I get long tubes, just get a different X pipe, which would be shorter because I'm getting long tube headers. So today we'll be installing. So here's the X pipe right here. And then you have these two extensions that go to each of the headers. And basically, if you had long tubes, you would just have this and not these. But you still have to get a different X pipe. You just can't run this without these. This is a SVE off-road X pipe. They make a lot of amazing products. I got them from Late Model Restoration. Great shipping. And customer service is really good. I talked to them before I bought this. Really fast, responsive, so thumbs up to them. But let's get started on this installation. Obviously, first off, you wanna jack up the car. Also, if you guys didn't see, I installed Borla Attacks on this car. It's a catback, makes the car sound amazing. So if you guys haven't seen that, I recommend you see that first before this video so you can see the difference that this X-Pipe makes. Basically, all the cats are in this X-Pipe department. So it gives the car more of a deep, throaty tone, makes it pop more, crackle, and it's just a really good mod for how cheap it is. Definitely gives you more throttle response. But with the tune, it gives you pretty good horsepower, but right now, like, I have no tune, so for now, it'll do. This is gonna be super easy. It's eight bolts in total. You got a gasket, which you should replace. This gasket right here, it goes on the passenger side because the passenger side is actually different than the driver's side. So you gotta make sure you get this gasket. It's only like $10. I also got these eliminator sensors. These make it so if your car is not tuned, the car will not throw a check engine light because the car will notice there's no catalytic converters and you know put the light up on your dash. So with these sensors that plug into your O2 sensors, these will not have the light on your dash. So for now, since I don't have a tune, I'll be running these. So under the car, this is the X pipe right here. As you can see, there are four bolts for each pipe on this side. And then for the X-Pipe, it goes all the way up to the header. So as you can see, it wraps up. And that's going to be four more bolts, uh, two on each side. Those are really tricky to get to, especially the O2 sensors. So I'll show you guys when I get these bolts off and take the X-Pipe out. So I just got the X-Pipe off the car. Super easy. The hardest part, I think, is getting to the top bolts that connect the X-Pipe to the manifold because you got to use a swivel and they're a little hard to get to. Once you get them out, not a big deal. But I actually think the X-Pipe that was on this car was aftermarket because there's this little stamp that says off-road use only. And I feel like they wouldn't put that on this car to begin with. And also why I think this is because the gasket had some, like, a uh, liquid gasket on it. So like if you want to make your own gasket you can put like a liquid um, And it would like form and dry as a gasket and this gasket if you see that's the orange I think that's the liquid gasket and this gasket is toast There is like it is falling apart. I don't, I don't know if you can see you can see through some of it Also, there was actually a nut missing off of the studs And I thought I had an exhaust leak from when I put the cap back on but it turns out it's probably from that nut missing. So the passenger side, which had this gasket, the nut missing causing a exhaust leak. So I'm very happy to find that out. And now I know what was actually causing it and there was indeed an exhaust leak. So even though if this is aftermarket, it still has two catalytic converters. They could be high flow, I'm not even sure. This is what was on it and this is what I'm putting on. Well, another reason I might think this is stock is because it's a one piece and usually aftermarket X pipes are two pieces. And this is obviously you can see is a, a one piece. So I'm, I'm very confused actually. Let me know in the comments below if you know. I threaded the O2 sensors off because the connector that connects them are, is really high up in the engine and it's just easier actually if you just unscrew it directly from the X-pipe. But down below, I kept them on, just unconnected them and I'm just gonna transfer them from here to the new one. Also, in the stock or aftermarket, whatever this is, has a permanent stud. So actually I had to go run out to AutoZone and buy some exhaust nuts and bolts so I could actually put them on the new X-Pipe because as you see, you're going to have two fresh ones. So four in total, the ones that connect to the headers or manifolds are still up there. So basically, you just need four bolts. Some X-Pipes actually come with their own bolts, but actually you can just run any size bolt, just make sure it's thick enough, so maybe like an M10 or M12 bolt and you should be good. So I'm going to switch out the O2 sensors, put it on the car, and then put the eliminators on, and then the new gasket, bolt it all up, 
and that should be about it. I really want to record myself under the car, but there's just no light and there's not much room down there anyway because I can only jack up the car so high. It would be easier with a lift, but I'm sorry about that. I can't show you guys everything, but it's pretty self-explanatory with this kind of stuff. Not very hard. Just make sure that you don't leave the old gasket on the manifold so you double gasket it. That can cause an exhaust leak for sure. You don't want that. So put the new gasket on. Make sure all the bolts are nice and tight, unlike what was on the car before. And start with doing uh, the pipe that connects to the manifold first, since it's a two-piece system. Do those two first, and then put the actual X pipe on last, since it's easier to access and move around. So that's a tip to make this an easier process. So I'm gonna go ahead, get everything back together. As you guys can tell, it's the next day. I got done with the install really late. As you can see, the car sounds amazing. It is so loud. When I first started, I was blown away because I watched a lot of videos of people putting X-pipes on their Mustangs, even the Cobras and the Mach 1s, which have the 4.6, obviously. And people say it didn't really make much of a difference and they were kind of disappointed. So I'm wondering if it's the Borla attacks which really wake this car up. Because like I said when I had my install video of the catback, this is like one of the loudest catbacks you can get for this car. Because it's basically straight piped. It has mufflers but there's not much in there. So with that X-pipe taking away the two catalytic converters, it just makes it an absolute monster. The manifolds don't have any cats on it either. So basically there's no cats on the car anymore, barely any mufflers. When I go long to Tubes, that will make it even louder and I think louder at idle too but I just can't even imagine that like this car is insanely loud already on the highway there is a lot a lot of drone which I wanted I really want this car to be obnoxiously loud and people behind me should be scared once again Borla Tax Catback with a SVE X pipe and it's for the stock manifolds catless off-road got it from late model restoration Great place, the X-Pipe turned out amazing, fast shipping, I think it took about three days to get to Michigan. And I couldn't be happier with this X-Pipe, I can't wait to do more modifications to the car. You guys will see the next video, I do something else that's really major, and you might have been able to see it in the video when I revved it. Once again, I'm really sorry for not showing you guys the step-by-step -step process to installing this X-Pipe. I was in a rush to get ready for this meet, and it was really hard to record under a car which is on jack stands and you have about two feet of room under it. So really sorry about that, but it is kind of self-explanatory. Um, not the hardest thing in the world. You just gotta know how to place things, take bolts off, put them on, how to get to bolts, not that hard. But I assure you with future mods, I won't be so rushed. I'll show you guys step-by-step -step installations and I'll make things easy for you if you wanna do it to your car. So I'll be linking the X-Pipe from late model restoration in the description below also the gasket i used and the eliminators so you don't have a check engine light on your car which is pretty important to me at least so i'll link that all below at late model restoration you guys can check that out be sure if you want your car to sound like this to get this set up because it's absolutely amazing i think this is how terminator cobras should sound or mustangs in general so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i did for sure i love how the car turned out if you guys want to see more check out my channel much more mods for the Cobra and a lot more to come. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.